if you look at the whole global economy and how the system works, we have we have one of two choices. Yep. We can cut the rackets. So yep. so I had a vision of a reset called the building wealth reset. And okay. the building wealth reset cuts the rackets in a way that builds lots more wealth. Right. Okay. Because we need to make the pie bigger. But but the the way we make the pie bigger is to dramatically reduce the extraction of wealth by the rackets. Okay. All right. If you don't do that, then you have to depopulate. All right. And you have to depopulate the population that is the most resource expensive. Right. Which is you and me. Right. <laughs> right. So it's the rackets versus the people. And and if if we don't want to get depopulated, then we need to build wealth in a way that reduces the rackets. But that's the fight. That's the fight. And let's remember, let's remember where this whole idea of maximum carrying capacity and overpopulation got started. And when it got started, and who started it? It got started long before Thomas Malthus. It got started in Venice. Right. Right. A banker. The pattern is, is special jurisdiction or patents of nobility or sovereign right. zones. And where does this come from? Well... It comes from the Republic of Venice. That's what Venice was. That was its right. status within the wider territories that it governed. The city itself was its own special entity. And so look at the pattern that you set up. You've set up an extra jurisdictional entity. Right. You've set up essentially a sovereignty within a sovereignty. That gets transmitted to the next swamp up in Amsterdam. It gets transmitted across the water into what will become its own extra territorial jurisdiction, the city of London. And that in turn transmits itself across the ocean till we get yet another sovereign extra jurisdictional entity called Washington, what? District of Columbia. Right. So it, you know, you have the these transfers of this this financial city-state governance structure that sets up all these parallel jurisdictions. And that chart brings it out especially because what's the Bank of International Settlements? Well, it's a sovereign jurisdiction. Guess what, folks? What's the Vatican? It's a sovereign you know, jurisdiction. It's a sovereign jurisdiction with a bank. Right. It enjoys diplomatic immunity. It enjoys diplomatic immunity. Which enjoys no tax, right. complete tax exemption, right. and diplomatic immunity worldwide. Exactly. 2,000 years of compound interest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 